Get out here. Look at what I bought you on our trip. Do you love it? Do you love it? Dylan, look who likes their new toy. I think I showed this in a beach vlog, but I, I'm gonna link this below because the back of the thing, it's from the Paws Co. and it says your purchase helps rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome dogs in need. So I really, really like that. And they have so many cute prints. And I get a lot of questions always asking where Winnie's bandanas are from. So this is a super cute brand. And I think the peaches is so dang cute. Look at this bandana I bought you. Come I knew you would love it. I knew you would love it. Wait, come here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you look so pretty. Look at you. <laughs> I'm turn this down for a second. Hey, good morning, everyone. We are back in Colorado. We're heading to breakfast, and then what's well, Sunday? So we have we're gonna have a productive, getting our lives together. I've been gone for two weeks in Florida. Dylan's been gone for like a week and a half, and we just need groceries to clean just a bunch of stuff we need to run here and so that's what we're doing i thought i would bring you guys along for a productive sunday who we bring along i know you guys said but you guys seem to like that and like grocery haul all that so we're gonna go to costco i'm gonna go to trader joe's um dylan has to go get fitted for a tux or is it a tux or suit what do y'all wear it's a tux a tux he's in a wedding in july that we're going to so that'll be fun so we're gonna go do that we're heading to breakfast right now and then we're gonna go to the grocery store we have literally no groceries once you're gone for a while you have to like basically throw everything out um and a few days before I had left for Florida, I just wasn't really grocery shopping because I didn't want the food to go bad. So we really have like nothing. So we're starting from like scratch basically. Uh, so big grocery haul in this vlog. And we are going to try to start eating healthy. <laughs> We're gonna try to start eating a little bit more clean than we have been, just like we've been on vacation. We just, or at least I'm speaking for myself, I don't know how Dylan feels, but I just feel very like blah, and I booked a workout class already for tomorrow. I just wanna like start eating a little bit cleaner than what I have been. I've been eating candy, sweets, like just don't really feel that great putting all that stuff into your body, so. Um, yeah, just wanted to start off a new vlog. We're going to breakfast. We're going to our favorite breakfast place. Well, I guess we haven't really tried many, but yeah. he said that this was like one of the best, so we just love it, and when we went, we loved it. So it's called Urban Egg in Old Town, Fort Collins. If you guys live here, I'm sure you know. Stop. It's Old Town downtown here, I don't even know. I don't know. I think Someone said there's an Old Town and a New Town, but I don't, I've never seen or heard of or know where the new town is. Is what, this new town? No, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't either. We also need to go to Zales and get my ring size because that's just like a thing that we keep putting off and off and off. And I'm like sick of my ring being a little too big. Right. You can have the first one. This Bridget. is the best coffee. Bridget. Ooh. It hurts so bad. Uh, this pizza place is rocking out. Just had breakfast, so good. Now we're gonna walk around. Men's warehouse doesn't open for like another, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Where did you park the car? Did we already pass it. Who talking to? Jeez. We got someone who woke up on the wrong Jeez. side of the bed. Yeah, we have guacamole, avocados, and lime so far. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking about getting a watermelon. for getting a watermelon is you have to make sure that it has a spot and it's hollow. Trying to figure out what lettuce to buy. <laughs> we added a watermelon. Now we're looking at grapes. What kind of um, 
Now we're talking about mushrooms. Why are you grabbing the big box? It's just eggs and tomatoes. What are you doing? Yeah, go. Okay, we're gonna do a grocery haul for Costco. Costco stuff, if you don't have a Costco membership, the reason that we do it would be because we get our meats there, because we buy in bulk and then just like freeze a big portion, and then like vegetables and stuff that we eat a lot and go through a lot of, <laughs> we get from Costco. So it ends up being worth it because they have such good prices, but anyways, like for example, Dylan got this five pack of deodorant, which at Target, like five of these would be like 25 bucks probably. And this whole thing was $12. So take it as you want. So we got a watermelon, which is like my favorite fruit. Maybe you can like move the camera. I did. I Do I look good or ugly? Dylan, good or ugly? I don't know. Okay, everything bagels. Dylan eats these before work every morning. Avocados. Cucumbers, this is my favorite snack. Cucumbers, carrots. Oh, we've got to get celery. I don't, I didn't see it though. Okay. No commentating from the cameraman. <laughs> English cucumbers, they're so much better than the regular cucumbers. If you guys have not had the skinny cucumbers, you need them. Huge thing of carrots. These are good to roast for dinner and just to snack on. Um, big thing of broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and then lettuce. So this will be our vegetables for like the next week we just kind of like stick with one vegetable for the week cook it till it's gone huge bag of limes you guys are good for limes so quickly and i love them for water and just to cook and with. making some moscow mules <laughs> yeah and that but we're not doing that well no drinking this vodka time. has no calories it's not the calories it's just that we just need to feel good and we've just been drinking a lot speak for yourself strawberries, <laughs> strawberries. Um, I love these to snack on and just like for literally anything. You are not cracking open a beer. You're right, it's just a Coke. That is not a Coke. It's a pale ale of something. Okay, oranges. And then another thing of bagels, we're just gonna freeze one packet. Yep, yep. Um, potatoes, I love small potatoes and putting them in the oven, like roasting or if you have an air fryer, really good. With like some garlic, salt, salt and pepper. Um, mushrooms, I, I just love mushrooms with everything. We needed a new thing of salt. Are those shiitake mushrooms? No, they're just regular mushrooms. Baby Bella mushrooms, the best ones. Don't tell me, tell the people. Um, we needed some new black pepper and this was a good one at Costco. It has like a refill. Yeah, just black pepper. If you, if you eat, Dylan. Yeah? Can you please put the game back on me? If you eat pepper on your food a lot, like if you like pepper, do not be zooming in. I'm trying to I'm not zooming serious. in. I'm not zooming in. I'm zooming out because I was already zoomed in on your face. Okay. If you like pepper with your food and you just use like the shaking pepper and you don't crack your pepper, you're totally like missing out on life. Yeah. Basically. Um, we got a huge thing of bacon. We're just going to put the rest in the freezer. Um, I love bacon for breakfast. Probably not the healthiest, but a big bag of frozen shrimp. This is really good because it's already it already comes peeled, deveined, no chemicals, no preservatives. So I like making this for. I got the shrimp. It's not funny. I don't want. I'm to not laughing. It. You're gonna use it because that's good cameraman work. Okay, and then last up, chicken thighs. This is my favorite way to eat chicken. Chicken thighs have a lot of flavor, and I love soaking them in like soyaki. <laughs> the soyaki sauce from Trader Joe's is really really good. If you marinate them for like an hour or two and then you put them in the oven like on a cast iron skillet, it's really good. So I'm going to go to Trader Joe's probably later tonight. Oh yeah, beer, <laughs> beer boy. <laughs> we also got a huge thing of eggs and then I get this big thing of diced tomatoes from Costco. And this is how I make my salsa, which I make every week. So I just keep these in the pantry. Super easy. Look at how cute Winnie is. I love her so much. Wait till you see how she runs out there. Okay, we'll take her out there in a second. I'm probably going to go to Trader Joe's later tonight. We've just been running around all day and I just want to like kind of relax for a second and start on laundry. I'll show what I got at Trader Joe's if I end up going today. If not, I'm going to go tomorrow morning, which I'm going to be vlogging as well. Um, 
But at Trader Joe's, I get things like cilantro, onions, just not as frozen big. Frozen pizza. No, we're not having frozen pizza. Just like not as big of things because, or what am I trying to say? Just not things that we don't. Bulk size. Yeah, we don't need in bulk. So like bread and stuff. Like I, I get my sourdough bread. I'll get like little sauces and stuff just that like Costco doesn't have. But the big bulk staple items that you eat a lot, Costco is the way to go. Or Sam's Club if you have a Sam's Club. You don't have a fire tonight, it's so long. In the house? Yeah. We need to call Jen and make sure that the fireplace is. I can text her. Yep. Check it. Check it. I would wear these, but I don't want to get them dirty. Sweet babies. She's like, doesn't really care to play. Winnie, she's so fast. <laughs> Yay, Winnie. There's this little field behind our house. We've been bringing Winnie out here to play ball. She loves it. Guys, she's so fast, look at her. <laughs> I'm late to the trend, but I got some phone charms off of Etsy. This is the Instagram in her Etsy shop. I'll link the exact ones I got, but I got two. I'm really into green and blue for spring. So I just put this one on, which actually has my initials, which is super fun. And then this one, I want to get like a white case and put it on with the blue one. But I really, really like them. They're just fun and different for spring. I know they're not for everyone. because I'm about to clean out this pantry because if you guys can see, there is no organization whatsoever. And I have this little basket, which I want to put all of Winnie's stuff in because right now it's just like in a bag, her dog food's all over and... I just want it to be a little bit more organized. We also might take this door off the hinges and do a barn door, which I would love. So we might work on that, but also quickly want to talk to you guys about Solid Gold Pet. Thank them for sponsoring today's video. You guys know this is the food that I've been giving Winnie for probably like six or eight-ish months now, and she loves it. I also give her some kind of like supplements every day. Um, the Berry Balance is for like urinary tract. If you have a female dog, this is a really good option. And then also, this is a really good, if you have like a retriever or some type of dog that has like irritated skin or gets like skin allergies, this supports skin and coat. Wet dog food, they have solid dog foods they also have cat foods and then like supplements and stuff so it's not just for dogs what makes solid gold pets stand out in my opinion is that they have a nutritional platform that's inspired by their founding belief that high quality food is the best way to impact the pet's mind body and spirit so basically it's really good for gut health they cleanse the digestive system with whole superfoods and balance with living probiotics and they also fuel with omega-3 and six fatty acids again supporting gut health and nourishing your pet inside out so if you guys have a pet right now you can save 30 percent on select solid gold pet products if you go to solidgoldpet.com slash rachel again solidgoldpet.com slash rachel gets you 30 percent off select solid gold pet products i'll have it linked down below and on the screen solidgoldpet.com slash rachel check them out i love knowing that what i'm giving winnie is good for her and giving her the benefits and not just like gross ingredients and just things like that and I can tell a huge difference especially with her digestive system and just like her overall health she's very happy healthy and I just love it I give her some of the supplements every day the dog food and she loves it so check them out it'll be linked down below thank you Solgo Pet for sponsoring today's video after situation much better I still need to get like an organizational situation for down here but i have all these bins i get all my bins from home goods super affordable really great for like pantry kitchen bathroom all of that so we've got like snacks canned goods crackers more crackers all my teas pastas and sauces chips um coffee just some extra care of stuff that doesn't fit in the kitchen drawers this is like a little candy thing all of our built bars diced tomatoes and then just like aluminum foil as a box all that so doesn't it look good yeah i put all of winnie's stuff in there nice blade of my windshield wiper uh oh we're heading to home depot um there's just like a few little house things that we've been wanting to do that we just decided we're gonna go try to check out um i feel like when you move into a new home or apartment or space it's I'm like trying to fix it right now 
you want to get everything done and put together but it's so hard because I feel like first off it's expensive and second off like there's just so much also furniture I was just that's what I've been doing for the past like hour looking at furniture because I want to order a desk for the office a desk chair a bookcase or bookshelf for the office and two chairs for the living room outdoor it's just like so much and it's also every single piece of furniture that I want is back ordered and I'm just like it's so expensive and it's like I don't want to wait till July 31st to get my desk you know what I mean so it's like not even worth it at that point in my opinion I just feel like I should get something else so I don't know I I'm also very indecisive like comment below Actually, I don't have anything beautiful. to comment. This is my POV. Is that, is that what people say, my point of view? Here's a water. <laughs> yeah, here's a water. That is so wasteful. That is wasteful. That is wasteful. I got a package in yesterday from Brooklinen that I've been waiting to open. I'm working with them over on Instagram and my whole, I'm going to cut this off. My whole bed right now is Brooklinen minus this quote right here. That's from Target. But I got a new little bed situation. So I thought I would show you guys. If you're looking for bedding, Brooklinen is so good, you guys. How do I do this? I'm literally cutting the cardboard box. <laughs> cut the bedding. Jeez, they really take this shit up. I love their linen sheets, so I've been wanting to get another pair. This is the, yeah, here's my linen sheets. And then this is another linen duvet that I got. I got a different color than white. I know you guys are surprised. And then some linen pillowcases. And then I also I'm very excited about this little package. I got two of their towels, which I've been dying to try because the towels I have, I love. They're actually from Costco and they're like seven bucks for a towel and they're great. But I've heard such, oh my God. Oh my God, these are so good. Wow. Okay, now I understand. I fully understand now. These are the super plush towel. I got two of them in white, looks like this. I am so excited to shower tonight. Wow, I need to go wash them before I use them, but like so big. <laughs> I'm acting like I'm drying off. So big and comfy. Oh yes, baby. Wait, those might be the sheets and this might be the duvet cover. Oh yeah, okay. But I got a like creamish color, so against the bed it'll be like a contrast. So I just liked that. I wanted something different than white just because I have all those new pillows. And then with white it's kind of hard because Winnie will go from right outside to just jumping right back on the bed. And sometimes she'll get the covers dirty. She literally jumped on the bed this morning and got that. So all of you guys who always comment, you're like, how do you keep your stuff so white and clean? It's definitely a struggle. Did you guys ever watch Rachel Ray growing up and she would like come across her kitchen like carrying all of her stuff in like her garbage bowl and stuff? That's how I feel right now. I'm gonna show you guys how I make my literal favorite potatoes in the oven. They're so easy and they're so stinking good. So I kind of just cut them, not super small, but not super huge. Big drizzled olive oil. And then I do regular salt. The salt's really good. I get it from Thrive Market. Some salt. Also, potatoes, I feel like, absorb a lot of seasoning. So, like, if you feel like you're putting too much and then your potatoes always feel kind of bland, like, you always want to put more than what you think. And they come out really good. And then this is just plain um, cracked pepper. I do some onion salt from Trader Joe's. And lastly, I do garlic salt. So a lot of seasonings, but you guys, they come out so, 
so good. And then just take a spoon, mix it up. And I let them sit in the fridge for a little bit. I like to have all my dinner prepped so then when I'm ready to cook, it's just like already all ready. So like the chicken's marinating. I have all the broccoli washed. Got the potatoes. Forgot to show my plate. I already started eating because I am so hungry, but this is how the potatoes turned out. You roast them at 425 for like 35 minutes. They are so good. Crispy on the outside, like really soft on the inside. We have chicken thighs I just marinated in the soyaki sauce. So good. And Dylan just got home, so we're gonna eat. Can I help you? What are you doing? <laughs> Aesthetic content. What are you doing? <laughs> Also just started using Babe Lash. They sent me a bunch of their stuff and I am testing it out. I've only been using it for like, I wanna say a week and a half. I used to use the Rodan and Fields one, but I've heard good things about the Babe Lash, so I wanna try them out. I'll keep you guys updated if you're skeptical about trying it. I've heard good things, but I have super short eyelashes and like wedding stuff's coming up, like we have an engagement party coming up in a little bit that we're going home for and I just wanna have longer lashes. I um, don't love putting on fake eyelashes. I like just like the natural look, but it's hard when you have <laughs> very short lashes. So I'm gonna try Babe Lash. They also have a serum for your eyebrows, which I actually need to go grab out of my office and start putting she on. Stay with me. Yeah, she likes me better. No. Winnie, you like your mom better. I know you do. Here's the entire package they sent. So cute. Um, so this is the essential serum they have a mascara which looks really cute and then an enhancing conditioner volumizing brow filler this is a plumping lip jelly so they literally have a ton of product i'm going to start testing them all out but i just brought this with me on my trip to florida and i've been using it so so far so good it doesn't irritate my eyes or anything so i'll keep you guys updated with this